Welcome to Herself, a space for women to have deep conversations about the intersection between spiritual entrepreneurship and fulfilling your potential, so you can become the woman you truly are in every area of your life. After being in business for over two decades, I've learned, as you likely have too, that as you grow your business, your business grows you in unexpected, often challenging, yet miraculous ways. Here, we'll talk about how to get out of your own way so you can grow a business that's abundant and sustainable while allowing you to be a force for good in the world. I'll give you simple, actionable strategies as well as wisdom and inspiration to help you root into your wholeness, lead from your values, and work in ways that feel deeply aligned so you can bring your true self into the world through your business and in every area of your life. So this is a resource that we all have when we feel overwhelmed, when we feel stuck, when we don't know what our next steps are, this is a partnership that we can tune into for guidance and for support. And, you know, some of us have been talking here about moving through challenging times. And one of, you know, one of the reasons why I'm such a big advocate of putting these building blocks in place for our businesses is because they give us a strong foundation. And ultimately then when we go through challenging times, then we can have an infrastructure around us to support us. So our business can actually be supporting us rather than us always feel like feeling like we need to just hold everything together and make everything happen. So this is the evolution, you know, that doesn't happen right in startup phase, but if we, if we are systematic about it. And that doesn't mean we can't be creative. That doesn't mean we can't be intuitive. That doesn't mean there can't be serendipity. There's all of those things. And there is like a really strategic, smart laying of a foundation so that we can be supported so that your business can support you when you need it. And when I had my, my, my former business, no one taught me that. No one taught me the importance of it. It was always kind of like moving from one thing to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. And I didn't have that strong foundation. I had pieces of it, but I didn't have it all working together. And so I want to spare you some of the hard lessons that I learned, some of the hard things that I went through so that you can create that for yourself. And as we're all, as we're all finding, it's not an easy thing to create. We don't create it overnight. And this is a multi-year process. I'm still, like I said, I think of the last week, like I'm in a multi-year process of, of building out a bigger vision. And it does take time and it does take just steady strategy one step at a time. Force infused with creativity, making intuitive pivots, doing things in ways that are customized for us. But this is, we want to remember the bigger picture. And I've actually been putting together a, um, like a business evolution checklist, you could say, where I map out the different stages of business. I map out startup phase, I map out growth phase, and then scale phase. And not everyone wants to go to scale phase, but it's in there for those who want to. And it's not to say that everyone is going to follow each of these steps, but it can help us to see like where you are in that. And like what your, what your next steps might be and what's ahead of you. So we can help you to kind of see the bigger picture. Cause again, this is a multi-year, even multi-decade process. And throughout we're evolving ourselves as our businesses are evolving too. So all this to say is the best things in life take time. And there are periods where hard things happen and we can feel overwhelmed and that's going to keep happening in different, different ways for each of us. And it's totally okay to take care of yourself, to recalibrate when that happens and to think about how can I create something that can really support me, that can really provide me safe, safety and sustenance and security and even space to take care of myself when I need to. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, change doesn't come from listening alone. 
I invite you to commit to taking one small or large courageous action after today's conversation. One step you can take if you haven't already is to sign up for my Sunday journal. It's a weekly newsletter filled with inspiration and reflections about the intersection between spiritual entrepreneurship and fulfilling your potential to help you become the woman you truly are in every area of your life. You can subscribe at programs saraavonstovercom forward slash journal. And if you found this podcast valuable, please share it with the women in your world. Also, I'd be very grateful if you'd leave a review. It helps others find resources like this. And I'd love to hear what's coming alive for you after listening today. Above all, keep going and never forget the unique offerings you and your true self bring to the world. Until next time, I'm sending you my heartfelt support.